Hey everyone, it's Jill Celeste, founder of the Celestial Circle and JillCeleste.com. And this week I want to talk to you about selling. Let's face it, all fabulous marketing leads to fabulous sales and we have to sell in order to keep our businesses afloat. Once, many, many years ago when I first started my coaching practice, I received this a bit of advice. And let me tell you what, it changed the way I thought about sales. And the advice was this, sales is a numbers game. And if you think about it, it is so true, right? We have to really get out there and let a lot of people know about who we are and what we do to attract our ideal clients into our circles. And it took some of the pressure off me because it made me realize not everyone is going to buy from me. Not everyone is my ideal client, but it's my job to get out there, increase my visibility so that I can really attract my ideal clients into my programs and offerings. So let's talk a little deeper about this. Sales is a numbers game. I want you to think about a typical sales funnel, like a picture you may have seen on a blog post or somewhere. And it's usually just an upside down triangle, right? Everybody goes into the top of the funnel, makes their way down. Here's the thing, I think that representation of the simple upside down triangle is doing a disservice to our thought process about selling because really that top part of that triangle, the upside down triangle, needs to be really big because we have to cast a super wide net through our marketing so that people will come into our funnels. We have to increase our visibility. So when we see sort of that nice, neat, proportional sales funnel, that's not accurate. It's really, really big and then down and then down and then down. So remember that as you're thinking about your own sales funnels, whatever that looks like, is you have to have a really big opening at the top. And then people will self-select their way down until they reach the point where they're your client. Another thing I want to share with you is from a book I just read, and you probably know I'm raving about this book. Definitely get it if you are an entrepreneur. It's called Chillpreneur by Denise Duffield Thomas. And on page 204 of this book, she talks about the 1% conversion rule. And I'm just going to read to you what she says. On average, only 1% to 2% of people who see your sales page will buy. So if you get 100 visitors to your page and only one sale, you are actually on track. So think about that. Again, that top of that sales funnel has to be super big in order to convert on a 1% rate, and that's average. Now, of course, if you're doing other type of selling, not through your sales page, if you're doing phone calls and things like that, your conversion rate will be higher. But for a lot of us who do online selling, who do online marketing, we, we rely on our sales pages to convert. If we're thinking that about 1% will convert, and that's what Denise is seeing as a huge, you know, very successful entrepreneur, then we need to remember we have to, it's our job to get more people into the top of that funnel. And that's by increasing our visibility. That's by doing networking, public speaking, podcast interviews, Facebook lives, blog posts, uh, wherever and ever anybody can find more out information about you, you need to go out there and do it. So look at your marketing plan. Are you really emphasizing visibility in front of new people? Many times a lot of us go, oh, I don't think there's any of my ideal clients out there. Go anyway, because we have to increase our visibility because sales is a numbers game. And if we're only converting 1% off a sales page, then we have to have a lot of people coming into, we have to have a lot of people viewing that sales page. We have to have a lot of people coming in to that big funnel at the top. So sales is a numbers game. I want you to remember that going forward. Look at your marketing plan. Make sure with that mindset You're picking out visibility activities that will really extend your reach in front of your ideal clients. I hope this selling and marketing tip helped you. And if you ever need additional assistance, come on over and check out The Celestial Circle. We talk about selling and marketing all in an authentic way. It'll feel good to your heart. You can learn more at TheCelestialCircle.com. So until next time, I'm asking you to stay in faith and I'm sending you lots of love. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.